This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Right here about prepping your logo image. And I think this has some good tips about making your logo. So before uploading, uploading your logo, ensure it's a similar height to that which you'd like it to display. Each template treats logos differently, which I think is a very impor important part to this question. And some use the original image size as the display size. When in doubt, it's better to start with a larger image, as smaller images may become pixelated. Huh, sounds familiar, right? That's exactly what this person is saying happened right here. So you're going to want to make it bigger than you probably want it at first, because just, just to add some wiggle room. Uh, your logo can be, in a, can be a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go to the image requirements. And I think that's going to be the most helpful uh, page for your logo when, when you're prepping your logo image. Uh, so right here, resolution. There's an image resolution limit of 60 megapixels. That's a good thing to remember. Uh, another thing is, if you go down here, uh, image width. We recommend using images that are between 1,500 and 2,500 pixels wide. I think that's probably one of the most important pieces of information you could know for your Squarespace logo, is you want it to be between 1,500 and 2,500, 2500 pixels wide. Uh, images smaller than 1,500 maybe appear blurry or pixelated when they stretch to fill containers. Uh, in most cases, Squarespace will reformat large images to a maximum width of 2,500 pixels. All right, so with all that being said, let's go back to your to the site manager, and we'll start from the beginning here. And you're going to go to any page you want. We'll go to the About page. And you're going to go to Design, and you're going to go to the Logo and Title. And right here is where you upload your logo image. This will bring up your file manager. File manager, You'll find whatever picture you want in here. I'm not going to do it just for the sake because I don't want to ruin my site. And then once you do that, you'll save, and it should pop up somewhere right in here. All right, guys, I think that should answer. I think I covered about everything we need to know about your logo. Um, I'll insert this helpful Squarespace blog post uh, that kind of covers your what you want to do with your logos and best practices. But I think that's about covers it. All right, thanks. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.